Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I am now on question number five from the International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4 June October 2020 paper. And this question here is about integration. Part A is just telling us to integrate this function here or this um, expression which is lin x over x squared. Now for me to integrate this we have a quotient here. We have something called integration by parts where we can um, integrate the product of two kind of unrelated functions together where there's no um, you know like uh, there's there's no in integration by recognition that can be done reverse of the chain rule like this is the case similar to that but before we can actually do that we have to rewrite this in a slightly better format so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this um, as a product so instead of a quotient I'll write it as a product by writing my x to the power of 2 as x to the power of minus 2 times lin x and dx now this is a product of two separate functions um, and when I have a product of two separate functions which are not like related in any way in terms of one being the differential of the other so not being able to use the reverse of the chain rule for example um, then what I need to do is I need to basically um, use what's called integration by parts. Okay, now integration by parts involves choosing one of the terms as u, uh, which we have to differentiate, and the other part as dv dx, which we have to integrate to give us v. And then we can um, use the formula for integration by parts. Now, the, the formula for integration by parts is given in the formula book but I personally don't actually use it because I set up my, my question in such a way that it's not really necessary to memorize it. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to choose one of them as u, and the other one I'm going to choose as dv dx. Okay, now the one that I'm going to choose as u is the one that breaks down easily. And one that the one that normally breaks down in easily is the, is the x term. But when you've got lin x there, you don't have much of a choice because to integrate lin x, um, it's a bit more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to call u lin x because it's easy to differentiate it and it's not easy to um, integrate it and it also breaks down to something quite simple when you differentiate it and u dx I'll choose as x to the power of minus 2. So if I, I have to, for this one I have to differentiate to get du dx which is 1 over x and for this one I have to integrate this to find what v is now integrating this involves adding one to the power and dividing by the new power so you end up with v equals basically one over x minus one over x okay so now what i'm going to do is um, you always multiply u by v so you multiply this by this so we can say the integral of x minus two lin x with respect to x is equal to u times v so it's going to be minus lin x over x minus the integral of then I'll multiply these two together uh, so it's going to be minus 1 over x times 1 over x dx so this is uv minus the integral of v du dx this is the that's basically the the, the um, what's it called integration by parts formula so this times this so u times v minus the integral of this times that. That's how I memorize it. I just multiply these two together and then take away the integral of the product of these two. Down and then across. Okay, so now this will give me, if I integrate this, there's no limits here, so it's going to be a, a general integral. So in the end, I'm going to write plus c. So minus lin x over x minus, well, this is going to become plus the integral of, it will be 1 over x squared, which is x to the power of minus 2 dx. Okay, the minus I've written outside here, and this gives you 1 over x squared, which is x to the power of minus 2 when you uh, get it ready for integration. Now, to integrate this, I'm going to, this is going to become minus lin x over x, plus, again, this is going to be the same thing as, as that. As you see, it's going to be minus 1 over x, so this is going to give you plus minus 1 over x plus c, 
So you end up with minus lin x over x and minus 1 over x plus c. Minus 1 over x plus c. And there is your answer. That's the integral of what we were given in the beginning, which was lin x over x squared with respect to x. And there's the answer for part a. Okay, that's the answer for part a. Now we're going to move on to part b. Okay, part B here, we have um, the graph again. It says, figure 3 shows a sketch of the part of the curve with the equation y equals 3 plus 2x plus lin x over x squared. The finite region R, shown shaded in figure 3, is bounded by the curve and the line with equation x equals 2 and the line with equation x equals 4. x equals 2, x equals 4. Uh, use the answer to part A to find the exact area of R, writing your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so now we have to integrate this function y between the limits of 2 and 4 to find the area under its curve. So we've got to take the integral of um, between the limits of 2 and 4 of y, which is um, 3, I'll just write it like this one now, 3 plus 2x plus lin x over x squared with respect to x. What, what we can do first is we can rewrite this as 3 over x squared plus 2x over x squared plus lin x over x squared. We're just trying to get ready for differentiation. Sorry for integration. So this will give us the integral of, and you're going to have 3 times x to the power of minus 2 plus this will be 2 over x, it's better to leave it like that, um, and this will be plus lin x over x squared dx. Okay, so now we can, we can integrate this, it's ready for integration. So we're going to get, in, well, when we integrate it, we don't need this, between the limits of 2 and 4, 2 and 4. That looks like a 9 there, doesn't it? 2 and 4, just confirm that. Yes, it is. Between 2 and 4. Okay. So now, to integrate something like this, the first, well, we can integrate each term separately. The first term, you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So this will equal, if you add 1 to the power, um, it can become 3x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. Now, 2 over x, you can't make this as 2x to the power of minus 1 because if you try to add 1 to the power, you get a power of 0 and then dividing by 0, be undefined. This one is something that integrates to give you lin x. So this is 2 times the lin, and you have to write the modulus of x in case you end up with a negative value in here. It has to become positive. Um, plus, and now we've got the result from part A, which I'm just going to get. This is actually, that's why it says use your answer to part A, because we got to write down the integral of lin x over x squared, which you already found in part A. Okay, so here's the result that we found in part A. So I can just write this result down. So this is going to be basically minus minus lin x over x. Keep it as a modulus. Minus 1 over x plus, well, we don't need the plus c. Okay, so we have our answer here. We don't need the plus c because here we have a definite integral four and two. So this is the this this part here is the integral of what we found earlier. Okay. So now we can I don't need this anymore. Okay, that was the answer from part A. Alright, so now we can now substitute the values in and see what we get. Let's just make it a bit more friendly for putting values in. This is the same as um, minus three over x plus 2 lin, um, well, I don't actually need the modulus of x because I can see that this is going to be positive and positive that goes in here, so that's fine. Minus lin x over x minus 1 over x, and we can put the values in here if we want to now. <coughs> 4 and 2. Okay, so you're going to have here um, minus 3 over 4 plus 2 lin 4 minus lin 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2 um, sorry 
lin4 over 4. What am I doing? I'm replacing the x with 4 first. So 4, and a 4 in there, and a 4 up there, and a 4 down here. Good. Now I've got to replace the x with 2. So take away minus 3 over 2 plus 2 lin 2 minus lin 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2. And this should be minus 1 over 4. What am I doing? Be very careful about that. So everywhere that you have x, I'm going to put 4. 4, 4, 4 here. And this is minus 1 over 4. And this is um, minus 3 over 2 plus 2 lin 2 minus 2 minus lin 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2. It's always very important to check that you don't make silly mistakes like that as you're working. It's very easy to do that especially in these long type of questions. So now I'm going to simplify this, write it in the simplest form. Um, I'll do that on the next page. Okay, so now um, to simplify this, you're going to have minus 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which is minus 1. So you have minus 1. Now um, this is going to be um, 2 lin 4 minus uh, a quarter lin 4. So you're going to have 2 minus a quarter. So you have... Um, plus 2 minus a quarter is the same as 8 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which is 7 over 4. So you have 7 over 4 lin 4. And then you're going to have minus, this is going to be minus 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2. That's minus 4 over 2, which is minus 2. And you're going to have 2 lin 2 minus a half lin 2 which is 3 over 2 lin 2, so you have plus 3 over 2 lin 2. Okay, so we're almost finished here. So you're going to have minus 1 plus 2, which is 1, and you have plus 7 over 4 lin 4 um, minus 3 over 2 lin 2. So to simplify this, let's make this into lin 2. To make this into lin 2, you're going to have 1 plus 7 over 4 times lin 2 squared minus 3 over 2 lin 2. So you have 1 plus, if you multiply, use a power law here, um, this is going to be 2 times 7 over 4, which is 7 over 2 lin 2 minus 3 over 2 lin 2, which gives you 1. And now 7 minus 3 is 4. So you've got 7 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is 4 over 2, which is 2. So you have plus 2 lin 2. So you can leave your answer like that. You could say 1 plus lin 4. Any of those would be correct. Um, in, you know, written in simplest form, that's fine. Okay. And there we have the answer to this question. That's the answer to part B. And that was the last part of that question, number 5. Um, so thank you for watching. The other questions that are from this paper, this June October 2020 P4 paper, can be found on the playlist that should appear somewhere at the top of the screen over here. The playlist for this topic of integration should appear somewhere in this area over here. In the middle of the screen here, you should find an icon which will take you um, to subscribe to my channel. And on the top of the screen, right at the top, the card that's been showing at time to time during the video will take you to another P4 paper you might be interested in watching. Thank you. Um, for those of you who are, are trying to find the the actual paper and the mark scheme, you can go down to the description box below and click to the playlist. And from the playlist, um, you can find the other questions and the paper answered. And also in the description of the playlist, you can find a link to this paper and to its mark scheme. Um, as I said, thank you for watching and see you soon.